Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the AFE factory. So I'm just going to be start preparing for the next round of paints on these two um, E tanks. So the E25 here, I'll mask up again with uh, some Tamiya tape um, and then we'll be getting the Vallejo tan yellow. It's going to be the next colour to go on there. Um, so I'm pleased with how this came out. There's some overspray that I need to address, but I'm, I'm not worried about that. That's going to be an easy fix. But I am very pleased with the, with the colour, the light brown, how that came out. Um, so yeah, that's a good um, a good first stage towards the the camouflage on that. And the E75. Slide it over. So I've been back over this again um, with the Dunkelgelb and just thickened up the lines and made sure that there was plenty of coverage um, so to give me a bit more um, scope for moulding the, uh, the plastic putty that I'm going to use for, for masking up. So yeah, this one, the second colour that's going on there is the AK Interactives. green out of the set the uh, 1946 panzer colors set so i shall um get those both masked up now and then we'll take them into the spray booth So the third colour is now on um, the E25, the tan yellow, which is here and yeah, in there. And I've masked this up again for the fourth colour, which is going to be um, this Vallejo yellow green, because it's going to contrast quite a lot with the um, with the colours that are on there at the moment. Um, and then what, once that's done, we'll then have a look at it and see 
where more colour should be added. Um, I've got a bit of overspray, I think I've said, to, that needs tidying up. I've not done anything on the engine deck at the moment because masking around the sides, it's just that just gets covered up. So that will need um, that will need doing. Um, but yeah, overall it's coming along nicely. So I will be putting that in the, into the spray booth today. The um, E75 is done. Well, it's done. It's going to need a fair bit of um, um, tidying up, really. One of the downsides of me not spraying the whole tank, obviously, is I've got to follow the the lines that um, that I put on there. And one thing that um, I, I need to remember is with the plastic putty, the um, the masking putty, it does spread out. Uh, so even if you put a, a thin line on, which I would have done there, um, it spreads out very quickly. Um, and then goes over onto an area where there's not sufficient paint. So in a way, I've saved myself a bit of time by not painting the whole tank and saved a bit of paint, but I've ended up making a bit more work for myself. So um, it's not the end of the world, isn't it? It's not beyond um, fixing. It's just, um, it's just means there's a bit more work needed to do with it. But I like the colors. The colors are really cool. I think um, they contrast well with each other barrels there so so yeah so I'm gonna leave that for today I'm not gonna do any more work on that I'm just gonna get the E50 25 sorry into the um, spray booth um, and maybe get the track sprayed up for both tanks because uh, they need doing they're starting to lag behind the build so yeah so into the spray booth we go So that's the um, olive, is it olive? Yellow green now on the E25. So it went down okay, no problems. Um, so now I'm just gonna have to pull off this this masking tape, which takes about 10 minutes. So clearly you don't wanna sit there watching me take masking tape off for 10 minutes. So I'll speed through this bit um, and then get to the other end. So there's the masking tape off, um, so you can now see the green. And again, I'm happy with how that's come out. It's um, it's always a bit of a dice roll when you're masking up for this type of camo as to you know how it looks compared to how it actually looks in your mind. So I'm quite happy with how this has, has turned out. There's a few areas, as I said earlier on, you know, there's nothing on the engine deck as yet so I'm gonna need to do something like that but it's just it was just too small and just once the masking tape was on there was just no room to to do everything so that needs attention uh, and I think here is that there's too much of a big gray area so um, obviously it needs some overspray tidying up um, and then something in this area another a color um, either the light brown or green or a bit of maybe a bit of both but otherwise I'm quite happy with that all it was you know that the intention is just to, to break up the outline and, and trick the eye um, and in a, a sort of an urban area where you know, it's, it's buildings there's more straight lines you know there's no sort of straight lines in nature if you're out in a in open ground or fighting around woods or forests um, this type of camouflage is is um, less would be less successful but as an urban fighting scene where you've got angles and lines from the buildings uh, etc um, it's going to work more successfully so that's that um, I also just whizzed over the tracks on both 
of these just with the um, with some Vallejo light grey as a um, initial coat for the track colour. Um, so I always start off as this is the base colour as, as after the primer, essentially as the steel colour. Because um, I, th I think it's sort of a, a light grey is closer to the colour of sort of exposed steel that's not rusty. Um, you can't put silver on or any of the sort of gun metals or that because that's just miles off. It just doesn't look right at all. And, and bear in mind, this is just a base. So um, once I've gone over it with, with other colours, um, this pretty much almost disappears into the background. So um, you won't be looking at the grey um, once it's done. So it's it's just a, a process that I've been I've sort of been working on and sort of did, um, <clears throat> liking the results that I'm getting. So uh, this is how I start off. I've done I did the ME seventy five tracks as well, um, but then afterwards thought that I was planning to, to um, have these all pretty caked in sort of a dark brown. Um, damp or wet mud or a combination of the two um, to go into this um, lift this up to go into this diorama there as you can see the the, the ground is almost black um, so it was a bit a little bit pointless spraying that on come on stand up Yeah, so it's a little bit pointless spraying those grey, but there's, um, you know, no harm done. So that's where we're at now. Um, so in the next video, hopefully I'll be able to show you some more progress on both these. Um, this will be paint wise will be done and um, tidied up so that it's um, uh, de decals done and sort of glossed over and ready for weathering um, and the E75 hope will have had all these um, uh, spray areas where there um, there's not enough paint on there tidied up and the octopus and camouflage put on there uh, so yeah that's that's the where I'm heading now so appreciate you tuning in I'll just want to take this opportunity to thank all my new members I've had quite a um, jump up in subscribers which is great that's um just um tells me that people are interested in what i'm doing or what i'm trying to achieve and um yeah so that's great and also thanks to all the um existing subscribers that keep coming back and checking as i say if you um like what you see please uh, like and sus subscribe and feel free to leave any comments asking you know what, why I'm doing such and such or what you know what I'm trying to achieve and this sort of thing so I'm happy to talk to people about any of this so I'll leave it there for that for today cheers <laughs>